This is Eagle Creek rushing after the very uh, stormy weather we've had and finally a clear day that I can come out to do some more plein air. So I brought my Stay Wet palette here and have already put some colors on it and it has a little bit of a moist uh, sponge to keep the paints a little moister. What I hope to do is a lyrical expression of this uh, very turbulent water and the feeling that it gives me and the sound is very um, inspiring. And so when I think about depicting this, I think about composing with certain uh, elements like line or what shapes will I include, trying to keep it simple. That's always the hard part. Will I put a lot of uh, form in it and, and value to bring the eye around with that? Or will I incorporate texture to have um, the expression of the feeling of this uh, water, which feels very much like it could have a lot of different textures uh, played out. And of course, space between all these things uh, will help compose something interesting. Uh, but today, I'd like to think about what color themes I might use and uh, simplify that. So maybe use um, uh, more of a monochromatic theme with a little bit of a contrast uh, for the uh, highlights uh, but we'll see what happens. I'm thinking about that I could outline uh, some of this with a uh, bit of line to begin with and the paint's already sticky there with the dry brush. Um, but I see this deep color here it's uh, it's flowing along on the edge of this creek so I, I'm just moving along with it. But um, I'm going to start with the medium blue here and just get that lovely shape of this big shape, try to fill in this big shape. And I guess it would help to have a bigger brush. So I'm going to tone down this blue and make it deeper right underneath here. And this is Alla Prima painting, so I'm just going at it directly and with a, a feeling of, of the rushing water. So I'm going to rush through this canvas like this. Rush through it, like really exaggerate the motion of the, the water. And some of these things as they, as they, um, work their way through are fast but some of the water lingers along the edge and back eddies so these are all the feelings I'm putting on this composition and I can keep it thin at first as an underpainting I love purple so let's just get that in here so if this was sort of the focal point. I'm going to bring that in there right now because it's just going to be a beautiful color to, to bring out a warm against. Let's get a darker in here. Dark green. This rock is here. And uh, I'm already getting some warm colors in on the front here. So, edge, maybe some rocks in here. So it's good to intersperse the colors a little bit everywhere. I'm going to put some white in here already while it's wet. So the nice thing um, with oils is that they remain wet for a while, but if I want the acrylics to blend, I'm going to have to do them while they're wet and uh, maybe put a little bit of glazing liquid with it go in a different direction here. This is the, the texture that I was playing on in the composition. So some of it's smooth and some of it is going to have a texture. So this is all transparent right now and I'm going to try to get that little bit of a highlight here of this rushing water right around here didn't work out too well so I need more white so this is very thick and it's going to be uh, take a long time to dry
Now I, I like this repetition here of this triangle, so these little, so I'm just repeating them. And the neat thing about the water here, it's got some bigger shapes, but it also has these very, very small little ripples around the rocks here. And it rushes down like that. So that's what's doing. It rushes down like that. So now the question is how light do I want this up here? Um, and maybe I want even a little bit of a glow to it. So just put a little warmth. So it's rather expressive. Um, I could take one of my tools here and also get a little bit of this going through. And I like the mo monochromatic feel of this, that the fact that it has mostly just these blue tones. Um, and if I want to get some deeper tones, I can add a little bit of Persian blue to it, or uh, Jenkins green. And get these rocks in here. Just get a little bit more of a dark in there. And this is chromium oxide green, so I really like that as an opaque. Bring that through here, um, put it on top of some of these rocks. nice opaque. Okay, and then this last little um, marks that bring little color surprise, I like to put in and guide your eye with. It's just a matter of keeping things expressive, loose, with um, just a little bit of extra detail. A little play on, uh, on this rushing water here. You can really feel it. You can really feel it when you paint it. And then that way you can really, really appreciate all that's going on because I'm not only responding with my senses of external senses and eyes and ears, but also with my heart and uh, just being thankful for this opportunity to uh, express this beautiful expression the water gives me and be thankful for the day.